So I've gone for a nice big heavy floor, 0.7, no messing about. I'm going to have a bulk shot right above the uplink. And that's it, just one number 8 underneath the floor. And that's more of a marker really, in case the float gets moved in the net or anything like that. I can just pull it back down to that shot. This is going to guarantee me top stability and just make everything really, really easy for me. Now I'm CAD cupping 4mm pellets and I'm starting off with corn on the up. Just going to the first bit of the concrete platform really. Don't want to go in the middle or beyond it. Quite happy just at the first leg as you would say. And fish on. Now I have drawn yes, an absolute flyer. I'm the end peg on this fish. side and there is nobody else on this side apart from the people to the right of me. Now because I've drawn a flyer, I know that there's probably going to be a load of fish there. I'm the first person they, they get to on the lake if they're swimming from that side. So I don't need to feed a lot because they should be there and that's why I've gone for a cad cup. And now, usually, and I have done it hundreds of times, it's so easy to get the big cup out, whack a load in, and you know you're going to be on for a good day. But I also knew that if there is a load of fish there, I'm just going to get lots and lots of foul-up fish. And foul-up fish don't often get in your net. I really don't want to do that. There's some really good anglers on this, this match. I mean, Neil to the right of me, he is really up there. And it's going to be tough, it's going to be so hard. Andy Favel is on the other end of my side. I mean, he's been in Maven Max's final twice. This is the level we're talking about. So I need to be really precise and just get every fish out. Try not to lose money. I mean, this one, ironically, I've got in the side. And that was feeding just with a cad cup. So imagine if I ploughed a load of bait in. So straight back in again. Just a cad cup again. Nice clean bite. That's what I'm Cheers, looking mate. for. Now, if I continue to foul really up fish, fish, even with a cad cup, I will look to shallow up. I mean, this is an absolute unit. Look at the size of this fish. I will look to come off the deck because that just tells me that they're up in the water a bit more. They're not quite on the deck, and that's why you foul looking them. But. Until I'm absolutely confident that's the right thing to do, I'm going to continue to feed on the deck and hopefully get them in the mouth. It's a banger. Gotta be up near a ten that. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh. Come on pal. So that is definitely what I'm looking for in the margin, and it was in the mouth. It's that big, I'm struggling to get it out of the landing net. So what I've done is it's gone a bit quiet on that line, and I didn't want to overfeed it the last thing i want to do is start foul looking loads of fish so i've rested it for a little bit tried meander a bit of shallow fishing i could see that there were lots of fish topping everything everywhere robin across from me he was catching on the waggler with with the pellet on so they were definitely fish to be had up in the water but i'm also mindful that i've got the best margin on the lake and I'm not going to, you know, neglect that. I'm just resting it a tiny bit. So this is a nice fish to catch, but as you can see, a lot smaller stamp than the previous ones I've had so far. So this is not going to get me where I want to be. And it's not something I'm going to stick out for very long. So I will be straight back down the margin. But it was worth a look, worth the resting. You know, it's a fish just keeping it ticking over. Now what I've been doing as well in this margin, I was lifting and dropping. And I noticed if I did that, that would get me an extra bite. I had to cad cup feed in every three to five minutes. If I didn't, I just wouldn't get a sign. But doing that extra lifting and dropping definitely got me one or two more bites in between feeds.
if it's not foul looked at, it should be a good fish, I think. No, he's, he's inside, isn't he? I've just seen it. He's inside, that's what's up with it. It's a big one, though. <laughs> it is a big one. Done well to get that out. Interesting. So I just got that carp in the side fin. Not an ideal place, but got it out. Fish in the bag. So again, lift and drop. Boom. Fish on. So you're seeing it for yourself there that were completely live and really really quick bite it's not no it came up like a skin bob i think it might be in his eye and that's why he's behaved this thing i'm glad <laughs> I hate it when you get them in eye. Yeah. So the last two fish I've hooked have been foul up. So I will start to think, you know, is it worth lifting up or is it actually worth changing up bait? It could be foul looking because they're purely just not targeting that up bait. They're targeting the feed, the formal pellets, but not the up bait. Angry little fish. That one was in the mouth and a nice clean bite, but I have switched he to an eight mil. When he went to Lincoln it did feel day. like it was taking longer to get a fish, and also an eight mil is a really big bait. It's going to stand out amongst those four mil pellets, and I'm hoping that's going to make them home in better and stop foul looking. Again, if they did start foul looking on that then I would look to shallow up. No idea. I'm hoping it's going to turn around though. Shoot the cake, I old Tommy. not as big as I thought, he's just very aggressive. Just not very happy to, he's up. I can see why. There's his mouth. Well, it's a good fish. It is a good fish to be fair. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a like it really does make a big difference to my videos and to my channel and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's completely free and i don't want you to miss right. any of my future <laughs> videos thank you nigel said he wants in on nuggets and all Oh, Nikolai. I'm just tormenting Nikolai across the lake. He's whinging that all he can see is me catching fish. And Nigel is starting to beat him as well. Nigel is pegged next to him. And that's what I've just said to him. Nigel wants in on the nuggets. Because we always have a one pound bet, which is a nugget. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, Nikolai's <laughs> having a bad day. It's just you, you're weak. 
Yeah, I know they are. They're, they're ridiculous. They're awesome and all in thistle. Oh, it's ain't good. We've had a few knock-ups on it lately. It's been brilliant. He's got to be. So the last two have been in the mouth. So I feel like the eight mil is curing a problem for me. Maybe they are actually homing in on this bait and they weren't quite homing in on the corn. So that can also be a common problem. This is why we should always take a few different up baits just in case. mouth that's what we want in the mouth that's what we want now at this point of the match I am really happy I've got fish feeding they're taking it in the mouth and also they're a good sized fish so I'm building a really nice net so I've just missed that bite there I'm slowly dropping it in and boom fish on what was that three seconds so you've seen me miss a bite slowly drop it back in and then we in three seconds fish on again now if I had put a load of bait in I promise you it would not have been like this it would have been a nightmare I would have lost loads of fish and there's no way I'd be getting the weight that I get in this match today this is really, really important because like I said, I've done this lots and lots of times where I've been the person filling it in and you think you've had an amazing day when really you should have done three times the weight that you got. If you've never yes, tried this before, Good. I recommend it highly. If you know there is fish God, there, fish. just put little bits in first. Come on fishes, what are you doing? Sometimes you do need to put a load in. Sometimes they won't move in unless you do put a big cup in. But on days like this, I've only had to put little cad cups in and I'm getting big fish and making life really easy for myself and actually getting them out. This was definitely the right thing to do. So just give it a try. Try little bits first before you start putting a load in. Because once you put a load in, you can't take it back out. Mmm, and it chin, we don't like that. But so another slow drop and wallop. It's not something I've ever really done down the margin. I know a lot of people like to do it in maggots or worm but I just thought I'd try it. It felt like it was drawing them to it when I did and it was proving to be really effective.
God, you win, pal. You win. Calm down. Jesus. Oh, God. Wow. He's a good eight pound. So that was a nice big carp. The weight is building really well now. Normally, you see big carp hanging together in big numbers. So I'm really hopeful that I can get some really big fish, get a really good weight, and hopefully challenge for the number one spot. That's no good. That might be a net complete of that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's another fish yet to be had in this net. <laughs> Instantly that. Now they are really, really cooking on gas. That bite was so fast. And the big fish living the absolute dream right now. Again, it's because I've fed it right. They are there, don't get me wrong, there is a ton of fish there. But you can easily have a lot of fish there and really quickly mess it up. That's what I'm trying to really highlight in this video. It's a bit boring, just margin fishing all the way through. But this video might help you more than any of my other videos. Alright pal. If you thought that hard in water you might have gone off. And that is just the craziness of this place. So you can see it's absolutely solid with carp. That bite went straight away and it's a skimmer. A skimmer has beat all those carp to that 8 mil pellet. I really thought that were a skimmer at first. You just don't want to put up a fight. So the way Bill has pegged this match, there's four or five anglers to my right, and then nearly every peg is took up on the other side. Now, all the pegs beyond me that you can see when you're watching my video, the anglers on the opposite bank can throw across the doors. So right. it, it saves us all being spread out all over the lake, but also it gives the other side a bit of a chuck. So not just to the middle, they can throw to the complete other side. Which can give them a real good advantage because they right. can steal fish from my margin effectively by catching them further down here. But no one's really chucking it out. There's a lot of anglers that are throwing a pellet waggler out to about middle-ish. Some are catching on pole short. Some are trying to catch in the margin but not really getting anything. But yeah... If you ever do fish a large farm on field and it gets a bit busier, this is often how you will see it pegged. And the long throw can be absolutely lethal on its day. So smaller fish but in the mouth and that's what I'm most bothered about. 
just doing a nice little slow mo for you here of me slowly dropping it in and waiting for that bite. If it wasn't on slow motion, it's pretty much instant. It is rapid. And that means it, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. You're getting them in the mouth, you're getting them super fast, the big fish. That tells me I've, I've got everything absolutely right. Now I'm going to give Neil a bit of credit to the right of me. I don't like to do that because Neil is very much like Marmite. But he did give me a little tip in the match, which I did use. There was a period when it went a bit quieter. And he said, put a few micros in the CAD cup with the four mils. Now initially I didn't want to put micros in because I'm trying to stay away from them this year. I think they encourage a lot of bad behaviour with the fish. I think you get a lot of foul looking. I just I just don't like how they perform. But trying hard, pal. he said it gives them something to grub in. So you know what? He is a class angler, especially with pellets. He's probably one of the best pellet anglers around. All right, all right, well I'll listen to him. Put some micros in with the four mil pellets and obviously eight mil on the band. And boom, instantly started getting me some more fish again. So I've learnt something. And and that is through Neil. This is another benefit of going to these venues with top anglers in. They will genuinely tell you stuff, even if it's going to hurt them a little in the match. Because they, they are nice people. So, I mean, Neil's probably never had that very much, to be fair. But he is a nice Ooh, guy, deep down. Fish. But he ended up that's producing me some more fish. That's and that does end up being really important <laughs> so big thank you to neil who's to the right of me thanks for that great advice and i will definitely use that advice moving forward when times get a bit tougher good fish yeah that's what i want bring him in So that sound you keep hearing periodically, that's not my audio. That's the train that keeps going past. <laughs> there is a lot of trains that go past this venue every single day. I've switched off to them now, actually. I don't even notice they're there half the time, but obviously watching the video about you do realise they go often quite a lot. Clearly does not bother the fish. Amazing, because the vibrations are quite large. The sound is huge. The fish are not bothered at all. Where have you been for the last 14 minutes? So you've just heard me say to that fish, where have you been for the last 40 minutes? And it was at that point where I started adding the micros that Neil advised. So that fish and the fish I'm getting now, they're all thanks to him. Like I said, I'd not had a bite for 40 minutes. And then here we are. They were there. There was no doubt that the fish were there. They were just being really cagey. Like you said, just put a few more micros in. Give them something to grub in and boom, produced fish. Yeah. It's only... <laughs> Thank you. 
So while I'm playing this fish, I'll give you an update on what's going on. So Andy Fable, who is on the end, he is catching at a really good rate. He's catching on a water waggler, throwing about middle at pondish, not feeding too much, and he's getting a fish a chuck. So the pressure is really on. I know his margin's gonna be epic. He's not really yeah. gone down it too much. He has concentrated on the waggler more. Um, and it is working for him, like I said. Now, the only thing I'm thinking at this point is usually margin fish are bigger than surface fish. And they usually are. I mean, you've seen the size of some of these fish. Hello, that one. It's just that normally you would only catch it. No. Um, regular in your last two hours of a match, unless you're lucky like this, where they're going to be there yeah. from the start. So I've gone all in, you know, all the eggs are in one basket. I've just really stuck it. I tried shallow fishing for a little bit. I'd one, weren't impressed with the size compared to the margin fish. I went back to this. So I'm hoping I've got it right, but it's gonna be close. Dave also on peg one, he's been catching really well on pace. I mean, I thought it'd be a bit too soon for the pace, but he is getting a fish a chuck. They are normally smaller fish in peg one. So we're hoping, kind of, that I think I should Ooh, beat there. This is a nice ghost, eh? But there's at least two anglers that are absolutely empty in it, as well as me. So this is proper, proper competition. <laughs> and what a fish to end the fishing on. He is not happy with me one bit. Ghost is notoriously a nightmare living up to his name. Now, let's just see exactly how we got on. <laughs> you don't understand that I can fish anywhere that I want. <laughs> That's what you do. Take your fish off them. <laughs> Put them back. Really? Oh no. Schoolboy error. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to. It's swim. okay, don't worry. That was my last hour, that. You spend hours editing this. <laughs> that was my last hour. After I put him right. 32 8. Thank you. Do you know Just get away with it, I think. Yeah, all that edge, yeah. Well, I had one slap in that way. <laughs> Forty-nine seven. Thirty odd. One hundred and thirty-six fifteen. Oh, and I had a net V and all. Had a net violation first net. Hundred and thirty-six. ground. <laughs> Forty-two, three. Seventy-nine, four. Oh, don't mean. Without it far end. I don't think so. I think Greg's caught a few. Tell me about midday. My first hour I had twenty-four pound. I had a fucking right first hour. Then the second hour were terrible. All that edge. Yeah, everything up to the next platform. Yeah. Straight away. Just a cad cup of fours. Put corn on, and then they won't come near corn. Then I went to a six mil, had a few more, then changed to an eight mil. Tommy, no lie. He is douchebag, but honest angler. 
I'll tell them about your free soon. Oh, it's going to spank me. 39 dead. There you go. He you know a lie, Tommy. Have I done you, Tommy? 59 8. All together? Yeah. 59 8, Neil. Twenty-seven dead. You tried shallow though, didn't you? I seen I did. you shallow. Uh, the long line up, my nose got firing pellets. Yeah. Off. He's become shy. One, one shallow. Fired I led one shallow. Never cool. You've had a few. You've had a few. Had a few. You're off today, mate. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but would you flat out? I don't think yeah. I've got. They're all easy. 25-11. Good man. So there's no shame in getting smashed up by him, is there? I don't think he has. Water mm -hmm. wagon, right? He has. Don't you worry about that. Too, too she lived on me by a pound. 39, 13. Maybe a bit more. I've gone over on my first now. Oh, yeah. oh. How much you over by? We don't know. 46, 13. I think he's just done me. Ah! I did, I did. I've, I've gone over for about five, ten pound. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. We were catching from our margin all day. Yeah, straight that, that margin, pal. A bit rocky that shelf, though, didn't we? Further out, or? I just went in front of the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, oh. yeah. This is intense. 133 is 12. 46. 26. 26. 26. Bill, he's written it down like you said. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo, that is close. Yeah, that oh, that is close. 12, 9, 10, 16, 18. I'm up with it. I'm good with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? If they beat me, I could accept that. <laughs> he don't mess about. He's not pissed. He's not pissed and all. So they're going to be good fish. <laughs> They'd be good fish on pace, ain't they? I love some crackers. I think I've lost five or six, but I'm happy with that over the course of the day. 47.6. Oh, 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 Dave. Oh, Dave. <laughs> That's his third now, it's his little one. <laughs> Is that what it said? It's his little one. Can't do it now, Davey boy. No, it's three o'clock now. It went last hour of rubbish, weren't it, Dave? Yes. I got £29 it last hour. And I would have expected much better in that margin, so I was gutted. It's but a tough one, yeah, for £24 it first hour. 21.9. I thought if we could do that each hour, I'll have a right weight today. How far out did you fish, Dave? In that gap? Thirty-eight, thirteen. You look cleared hundred pound, weren't you? No. But I didn't want to do it because I did it on signal last week. Yeah. I don't want to go over because you just all that weight you lose him. It makes you wonder how to peg it on Sunday, but I know. Well, that's it, isn't it? See if I can get some more. I think when they see it waits today, I might get a few names on Sunday. What, you put some of them over there? Like. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, Neil, to refer to Neil, he said it's £150 peg that. 
Right, so. Yeah, thanks. No. Nice, Daddy. Good. 34.5. Did you have some yesterday then? They won't fight, but went double with that. So I am good. I'll be going back from the farm. 20 pounds? I lost my ounces as well. Oh no. What's uh, Andy had? 133. Oh. Eight, man. Days had 100 in, in. yeah. Oh. Probably about £10 ish, I think. Right. Well, then I do as I look. 3, 3 pounds 36, 137. Horrible Craig does me about a pound, it'll be horrible Craig too. £30, five. What do you yeah, want to run? Do a second it. Just let me know if you want it. Take seats as the MW as well. I'll, I'll drop you a text. Yeah, I'll have a suit you. I'm not bothered either way, buddy. What's that for? That festival at May. In May, if we want 15. to do it. 74 4. Not bad price. That's <laughs> Mark, isn't it? Yeah, cheers. Oh, oh wait. I don't think anybody's caught all the trade trades to send to you. 32.7. This peg never gets fished up with a Favourite pond. It's black, is it? Peg 6. Should we do another one a bit more? <laughs> I don't remember what fished them was. Decide if I'm telling you. 35.4. We went empty it there. Fast, fast. I know, what do you have? I mean, I've had a good weight, 136, 336. Yeah, you were catching you straight from half on your Yeah, 24 pound at first hour. Oh, I yeah. thought, oh sweet, I was on like this all my way, dear. Cute. Yeah. Especially that early. The one you're doing. 29, eight. It's a level six mm -hmm. But it's uh, second hour, I had one fish. And last hour, I only had 30 pound. Oh, so. Just the yeah, last hour's when you're expecting to get your most weight in it. I wanted like at least a good 40 plus. Kind of that though. Neil was saying the same. Yeah. No, this big. I've got one boy. Is it a unit? It's the biggest one I've got here. Is it? Yeah. Not quite much. Oh, they all look. Good lad. I, I, I saw him fishing like 30 oh, meters. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, when we were back, I thought, I can't believe that today. I was going to stick it short. It never came short. <laughs> so every time I went on pole, it was short, wasn't it? I've caught all my short. Yeah. Four, four, everything five. I've caught in the last hour. Yeah, in there. I've only got 25 pounds in there. In what are you? No, I've got about You're blowing a bit now, you're a fat lad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 43, 4. Well then, mate. 60 pounds. Oh, they're off both. How many got 40 then? 87, 9. Is that over there? Not a peg like that. Same as over there, I know. This big fish, oh, then. No, this one here. In a minute, yeah. As in the big photo. 41. Only one fish there. That big. Oh, that's right, a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. I'm not struggling. Yeah. 34, 10. Hold on, mate. Good day, fish. I'm gonna fish well this on Sunday. 75 10. It's crashing over there. That's all I could see in my bloody eye line. They didn't come past my peg. They didn't come past these pegs. I'm thinking, why is no one chucking? All I could think, well, why is no one chucking to these platforms? It's absolutely solid with me. It's crossy, had nearly all this fish. Yeah. It was solid over there with him. They were jumping out like shamu. 28 10. Well done. You got 87 pounds. Steve, I'm going to take a pub tonight, Steve. Do you want a pub? You're going to take a pub tonight, Steve. Not for me, T, I'm going to put 31.6. Passing you catching the chuck. What did you say? 31.6. 50 odd. I've had probably 10 pounds all day. 60 pounds, Dad. Only if Craig ain't got 107. You never know. We had 107 pounds. Horrible Craig to the sequel.
Yeah. Only a Sunday. Yeah. You got all late. Yeah. So I'm aware. Putting me in one today. Yeah. Of course I will. <laughs> I've heard you've smacked up today, mate. Not me. Not me. I don't mean putting us down as he does. <laughs> I ain't smacked anyone. Oh, well, a lot. 36. I went over on my first net and all. Just an Andy bar, three pound. And he's getting odd Andy had 133. Yeah. And I'm like, you better not beat me by a pound when I've gone over on it. I'd have even yeah. get killed me inside. 49.6. Anyway, you're So look, yeah, I caught one, shall I? 57 dead. I remember. Um, Tommy always says when people have that, he goes, all they have to do is fish that left margin. Um, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll listen to what Tommy told me ages ago, I'll just that's all I'm going to do. And he said, uh, it's Phil picking him out, it's not even me. Smash me a little penny, aren't they? Yeah, I did. Hi, you've done, me large. Have you took one? That's all I wanted to do, beat Neil, needed to shut him up. What's good in you? Thirty-one nine. Nine pounds, forty pounds. Set it up. You're not behind. You're right. Forty-one four. Because it's not going to work, me. You're not going to get in my head. Yeah, I know you. I said it's not going to work, Paul. Save the breath. Not, not interested. Did you try? You were trying to. Yeah, yeah. Robin knows all about that. Why are you alive for, Quig? What? Horrible Craig 2, the sequel. Yeah. This is definitely going to be the sequel. 78, 79. 38, 2. Mm. You only got 40 pounds. Right? Cormoran, you were supposed to beat him, you're the Cormoran. Come on. Can I say? He's becoming immune. <laughs> He's becoming immune. 36-11 Sam Martin, 15, who wins? Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. I went on 16 <laughs> Craig, no, I lie Oh, you have some nice ghosties too he still wins. Go on, tip, Greg. A few, but not many. I'll not stop them. Have you broke Dave's art? I broke them. 111. Have you broke Dave's art? You are an horrible man. I've come with foot. I've come with. 111. Big on weight. I'd have thought you'd have had some. I let four silver fish here. I didn't know. They're going to win out with another. Come off him. Craig, we're catching carp. We had most skimmers today. Probably. 46 4. Should have sat it out for that. Do you want meat today? Hold you there, 46. <laughs> Our four ounce that. Yeah. That's not like me. Didn't catch most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fishing 8 mil hard pellet in a margin in donks. It's about all I had left in my finger yeah. to, to try. I'm like, well, I'll have to try this 8 mil. <laughs> Wherever you go, yeah. Well, here yeah, they're going for 8 mil. 48, 5. Well, little sunshine. Thank you, Paul. First. <coughs> Paul Wilkins. Woohoo! And the results are in. I just managed to do it. Fancy going over in one of my nets. Disappointed with that actually because I clicked 45 pound. Net limit's 55, so to get it wrong by more than 10 pound, that is very unlike me. But I'd still done enough to get the match win, which was not easy at all. It was within pounds. It was so close. Well done, Andy. I'm making it super competitive. Dave's died down a little bit towards the end, and that's how he managed to pull away. But well done everybody, what a match. If you would like to use any of the floats that you see in any of my videos, go onto Facebook, like this page, I'll approve it. We post daily, normally £1.35 per float, go and grab yourself a bargain. 
And that is it for another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was pretty much all margin, but that's what needed to be done to get that win. That's what I needed to do in that flyer peg. I'm sure as much angle as you understand, it's like that sometimes. But you saw how I didn't mess things up and you saw how we got really good results from the little changes that I made. So put some of that into your fishing and hopefully you'll put a few fish in your net. And until next time, tight lines and see they. Up the tea nooks. <laughs>